second workout for the week and after this workout mm -hmm. i got some minor uh, stomach flu uh, nothing major but still a minor setback uh, it didn't do so much damage as i thought it would but that was later after this workout so this workout all overall went well um felt much better than it is did the the, the um, two days before uh previous to this when i did um, the reps at 120 kilos at, at another gym so this is the cambered bar it's uh, seven centimeters uh, bent so i i go seven centimeters deeper my grip is around competition width um maybe a bit wider um but 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 there's many reasons for me for choosing this bar one thing that i'm looking for here is my uh, right shoulder tended to pop up uh, so, so like upwards towards my ear um, and my in my, in my last workout so that was something i really worked on here and that's why i filmed from this uh, angle so now i saw it it kind of slide it up a bit and and if you don't take notice like watch where it is on my first rep and then watch again where it is on my last rep um and i th i think after this uh, set it this set felt better and i think i was uh, stayed in positioning much better uh, all out the set or if it was the next set i don't remember uh the the set the the last set we will see from this angle was the best set so that was when i felt okay I think I figured this out now. So this is probably the last, last set I filmed from this angle above. Uh, I thought I had figured out everything that I felt was happening, did happen. That's the thing and what is good when you, when you, when you record yourself uh, training. Um, sometimes something, something can feel that way and be completely different so that's why like from this angle i can see am i centered on the bar is my shoulders uh, evenly tucked in uh, am i presenting a straight line and so forth uh, so there's a lot of things you can see from different angles and that's why i tend to like maybe stick with one angle sometimes because i'm trying to solve a lot of things from that angle and and why you don't see me like recording from the side so much is because i know that that's like my, I, I i i drive hard with my legs my my the bar path is pretty good and everything so i i have everything in check there already yeah and the bar again why i choose choose this bar i can do a video about that but if you want to purchase this bar it can be hard for some of you that don't live in sweden but i think they ship uh, i don't know how much but in europe still and uh, to, to many countries and it's cheap so maybe the, the shipment may be the uh, mo more expensive uh, uh, thing for you if you want to purchase that but but you can also find uh, other stuff on their their site i think they have like close to 2000 items or so they sell uh, the company's name is nordic fighter and they're like powerlifting series or so strength training series is called thor fitness so you have the link in the description and i also use it for my seal rows this uh, um uh, bench for the sealers is from a company called uh, Ergia in Sweden, but Nordic Fighter also manufactures seal rows. So this is more, this is kind of pull down exercise. I, I, uh, um, I pull the bar towards my waistline, uh, and I also try to really drive my elbows in Thor uh, to my body, so I don't point them outwards i want them to follow the body and like touch touch uh, the side of my body with, with my elbows that, that's what i'm striving for anyways uh, so, so this really if i would have done this exercise like if you want if you imagine that you want to like do as much weight as you can in zeros i think i'm doing three sets of 20 uh, 13 reps but the last two reps or so i don't touch uh, if I would have done this with a straight bar and just pull it straight up to the bench, I could probably use 100 kilos and do the same amount of reps. So that's the thing with 
how you do an exercise and the the weight you choose on the exercise. What do you, do you want exercise to get the most out of you, or do you want to get the most out of the exercise? And um, and I think this is a real good way to to get a lot of work down using a small amount of weight. So I'm really pulling with my back and only bending my arms in the end to get that full range of motion. Uh, and if so, I you can do this with a straight bar as well. Uh, but I actually would like, if something, I would like to have a deeper bend in the bar. So, so let's say uh, um, the Nord Nordic Fighter also um, sells a cambered bar that has, I don't know now exactly, but more or less double the bend to it. So, so, so it's... Um, it's twice as deep so, so you can i don't I, I wouldn't use that for benching in my case um but but i would like to use it maybe for rowing exercises or so to really get a um, long range of motion getting the most out of every centimeter of the lift uh, and i'm really into you, you you can mess around with like throwing weights around and so but but i tend to gravitate for uh, long range of motion and use as little weight as possible